PD says four kids, one as young as 11, went on a crime spree this weekend. Two of those juveniles ended up in the hospital after police say one of their victims pulled out his own gun and shot them. Natasha Robin has more from Gentilly. For that to happen, it terrified everybody on this whole entire block. Very terrified everybody because we're not used to this. Police say four juveniles between the ages of 16 and just 11 years old went on a crime spree Sunday. It was here in the 4900 block of Eastern Street in Gentilly, where investigators say they pulled up in a red SUV behind a man pulling into a driveway. They approached him, and when they approached him, they had some words and everything. Then out the blue, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the, the young men try to rob him. And that's when he defended himself by shooting back. Investigators say around four in the afternoon, two of the young gunmen got out of the SUV and tried to rob the victim. That's when police say the victim pulled out his own gun, <laughs> fired at the suspects. Two of them, a 13 and 11 year old, were shot in the leg. They jumped back into the red SUV and took off. Neighbors heard the gunfire and ran outside. Came out, looked down the street, seen a automobile coming down the street, hit, hit a tree, then it hit this light pole right here. Four young men jumped out, ran down the street. Officers say they located the four juveniles a couple of blocks away at Selma Street and Peoples Avenue. The red SUV investigators say was reported stolen earlier Sunday from Press Drive. Then they say the young gunman used the same vehicle to commit an attempted robbery in the 2400 block of J Street and then an armed carjacking in the 6400 block of Painter Street. In this neighborhood, I usually don't have any crime or anything, but uh, that's how the city going right now is pretty much all over the city. It can be anywhere. People who live in the area say they're fed up with juvenile crime infiltrating their normally quiet neighborhoods. That's the problem that I'm having there. We as adults have to protect ourselves from young kids that really don't have the knowledge to knowing what they're doing is wrong. They just don't, they don't have the knowledge. They, they're not being taught right. Well, they, they know what they're doing is wrong. They're, none of them are fucking stupid. <laughs> well, that's stupid. Hold on, time out, time I stand out. corrected. They don't know what they're doing is wrong? They know well, exactly what the fuck they're doing. How come? Bullshit. Let's just say that. Let's just say that that's true. Let's, let's, let's play the game. Most of these little kids have been arrested 20, 30, 40 times during their teen years. The ones that's really active. Say they didn't know it was wrong. Well, when they got arrested, wouldn't that fucking, fucking set off some kind of fucking bell that it might be wrong? The second time they got arrested. <laughs> wouldn't that like kind of be like, hey, maybe this is wrong. The third time. The fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time, the seventh time, eighth time, twentieth, the twentieth time he's been arrested. Yes, yeah, at fourteen. That's what they do. That's what they live for, man. You think by then he's figured out maybe this is wrong? I mean, come on, man. Even if you want to say they weren't raised right to know that this is the wrong thing to do, after he's been arrested twenty times for it, he fucking knows it's wrong. And none of these poor little bastards climbed out of bed and that was their first crime. You know, they, they'd stolen cars and strong-armed and done all this shit before tonight. The guy said earlier in Chicago, when they, when they arrest them, because they're fucking um, 11, 12 years old, they have to drive them home to their parents. Yeah, that's crazy. Might as well start stealing cars and get a ride home, too. You got to know, you know, punching an old lady in the face and taking her car is wrong. What are they saying about sons when they say shit like that? The block of Painter Street. In this neighborhood, you don't have any crime or anything. But uh, that's how the city going right now is pretty much all over the city it can be anywhere. People who live in the area say they're fed up with juvenile crime infiltrating their normally quiet neighborhoods. That's the problem that I'm having there. We as adults have to protect ourselves from young kids that really don't have the knowledge 
to knowing what they're doing is wrong. They just don't, they don't have the knowledge. They, they're not being taught right. Police say the 13 and 11 year old are being treated at the hospital. When they're released, police say they'll be transported to the Juvenile Justice Intervention Center. In Gentilly, Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.